Scoliosis, unfortunately, affects the entire spine. It affects the lumbar spine, the thoracic spine, and the cervical spine. It doesn't matter necessarily where the largest curve is. So a lot of times patients be told they have a lumbar scoliosis, means the largest curve is there. But it doesn't mean that there is not curves and counter curves and counter mechanisms and compensating mechanisms that are occurring throughout the entire spine. So we know there's a relationship between spinal pain and scoliosis, especially in the adults, meaning as patients as curves progress in the adult stage, they compress down, and as they compress down, they affect muscles and tissues, discs and nerves, and this will almost always lead to some type of pain, either at the site of curvature or above or below it. But either way, there is a relationship between the uh, spinal pain or, or any type of pain and scoliosis. The most common pain is low back pain, but it's not limited to low back pain. So therefore, it can definitely lead to cervical pain as well, especially in scoliosis cases that are higher in the body. So the best way to manage this type of issue or concern as a result